Hello, good morning. This is your guy, Shiwame Desmond. Today, I'll be sharing with you some principles, some things that you really need to make part of your daily life in order to have a very, very easy life. If you make these things part of your life, your life is going to be very easy, smooth, simple, and filled with less uh, worries. The very first one I would like us to look at is that someone's opinion about you do not absolutely have to define your realities. The way people define you do not necessarily define your true worth. People form their opinion based on maybe their uh, life perspective, based on uh, their experiences in life, which may not always truly define you as a person. It is essential to have confidence in your own identity and not let other people's others' opinion to swell you left and right at um, each opportunity they get. Remember, everyone has uh, their own unique qualities and strength, and it is very important that you stay true to yourself and not seeking approval from people or seeking good approval from people and good opinion. So stay true to yourself, be who you are. Realities are shaped uh, by your beliefs, by your values and, and your principles. And it's very okay if others do not share the same opinion with you. If others do not share the same journey, obviously they will not uh, see things with your perspective. So it's very, very okay. Secondly, failing actually teaches you more than easy success does. When you fail, you learn more from failing than when you have an, a quick success, an easy road to success. Failing can be a powerful teacher. When things come very easy, you have less opportunity of learning, less opportunity of appreciating even the success, uh, the success you've achieved. Failure, on the other hand, uh, often provides opportunity for personal development, uh, opportunity for self-appreciation and opportunities for learning more, investing more, trying again, and of course, you will learn uh, better. So provides a valuable lessons that can contribute to um, to personal and you know professional development. Uh, failure often comes with with things like uh, adaptability, uh, resilience, um, innovation, innovative ideas, appreciation of success, self resilience also. So, and this package that comes with failure makes you a better person than just maybe a straight uh, road to success without having to experience difficulties and uh, challenges. On your way we will look um, at all this uh, in our next videos that's why failures is a better than uh, quick success the third reality that you really need to accept is the fact that you cannot please everyone that's the fundamental truth you can never please everyone no matter how hard you try you can never never please everyone people have uh, different perspective different expectations and different experiences in life they have different values so it's impossible to find yourself at a point where you, everyone around you is satisfied and knowing accepting this reality will actually help in making your life very very easy or easier <laughs> reasons such as diverse preference uh, subjectivity changing expectation uh, external factors and uh, different priorities actually makes it uh, a lot more difficult to please everyone all the time or even to please everyone so you have to accept this and it will make your life very very easy the fourth would be um, the fact that you find yourself uh, in the same class sitting maybe on the same bench with someone doesn't necessarily mean you are at the same stage in life this is a reality the fact that you're in the same class with somebody doesn't necessarily mean you are at the same stage in life even if you are of the same age it doesn't necessarily mean you are at the same stage in life people progress in life at different rate depending on the challenges they face uh, the opportunities uh, they have reasons such as personal development goals and aspiration life events culture and family background individual circumstances personal choices makes it very very difficult for people even if they find themselves in the at the same in the same class makes it difficult for them to be at the same stage in life. Some people, though they are in the same class with you, they have maybe their great grandparents or their grandparents who are doing what you are maybe trying to do at uh, the present stage for your family. Yeah, some people have things which was done by their ancestors that maybe your family was did not have that opportunity to do those things. And maybe it is your responsibility at this point in time to do it for your family. So quit trying to compete with people who do not have the same opportunities like you, people who do not have the same challenges like you. If you accept this reality, I think life will be easier. The fifth point will be the fact that you lose 100% of the opportunities and chances that you don't take. You lose 100% of them. 
It's a fact. This statement emphasizes uh, the importance of seizing opportunities, the importance of taking risks in order to achieve a desired outcome or success. It really lays emphasis on you taking risks, seizing every opportunity you get. Think of this as um, if you don't take an opportunity, if you don't seize an opportunity, if you don't take a chance, then it is a guarantee 100% loss because you will get nothing from that opportunity. So this statement, uh, you lose 100% of the chances um, and opportunities you don't take is very, very true. Deep thoughts on key points such as uh, rigs and reward, uh, learning and growth, regrets, avoiding regrets, and initiative and action can actually help you to build the desire to build your ability to, to take risks uh, often to seize opportunity often however it's important to to note that taking uh, every opportunity without careful consideration might not necessarily be uh, the right approach it is crucial to assess risks make informed decision and prioritize um, opportunities that align with your values and your goals while this saying encourages proactive and risk-taking mindset, it is also essential to balance this with thoughtful decision-making and a realistic understanding of potential consequences which might come with uh, your decision. Not all opportunities are equal and sometimes saying no to certain chances can be a wise decision based on individual circumstances and, and priorities. Saying no to can be a weak. The fifth thing you need to accept and do in life is uh, accept to start small and grow on your way. Yes. Don't always wait for the time when you have everything ready to start big. Starting small and growing is also very, very important. Start small and grow is a common piece of advice in various contexts for business and for personal development to, to creative endeavors. The idea behind this principle is to begin with manageable steps or modest initiative and gradually expand or scale up over time. Key aspects of this uh, principle which we will look at at them some other time is uh, risk management, learning curve, uh, building your confidence gradually, iterative improvement, uh, adaptability and sustainability. Whether applied to entrepreneurship, personal projects or skill development, the principle of starting small and growing emphasizes the value of making manageable steps toward larger goals. It's a strategy that encourages uh, sustainability, adaptability, and a solid foundation for the future of uh, your business, for the future of uh, your projects, generally. Uh, the seventh principle will be the fact that you need to work on your bad habits, okay? Oftentimes, you find people who want others to take them for who they are. They are not ready to put in any efforts to improve uh, on their weaknesses, on their bad habits, and they want other people to accept them and learn to cope with them just the way they are this is not a good habit learn to work on your bad habit people do not have to change for you and this is important for for your personal improvement and uh, your ability to take responsibility for your own actions and for your own personal development accepting to take the challenge of working on your bad habits will help you in self-reflection it will help you for personal growth accountability uh, respect for differences, effective communication, positive uh, influences, and setting realistic expectations for others. I will make a video where we will look at why working on your bad habits is important and can actually help you to become a much more better person. The eighth uh, positive thing, value principle that you need to do, invest more on knowing yourself and have quiet times as often as possible. Quiet times are very, very important for development of our self-value. Investing time in self-reflection and embracing moments of quietness can be uh, profoundly beneficial for the personal growth and well-being. They will come along with benefits such as uh, self-awareness, uh, clarity of goals, stress reduction, this one is very important, improved decision-making, enhancement of uh, emotional intelligence, increased resilience, authentic living, and mindfulness. The ninth will be the fact when it comes to your dream, you should be prepared to find people who do not see it your way, who do not share uh, the same ideology uh, like you. Be, be ready to find people who will, some will even go to the extent of discouraging your dream. So it's your dream. Hold on to it and do not be discouraged by other people. Here are some few reasons why people will not necessarily share your dream like unique perspective people have different life experiences values and priority 
what maybe a dream or a passion for you might not necessarily or reasonably uh, be someone else's dream and that is fair it's so fair and uncertainty sometimes others may not see or support your dream because they themselves are afraid or uncertain about pursuing their own aspiration it may reflect their fear rather than your own fear or your own the judgment of your your goal it might be a reflection of uh, the fear they have accumulated in the past other reasons such as limited understanding uh, risk aversion differences in values could account for why they will not see things like you see and which is very very okay and you don't need to take it uh, at a personal uh, level you have lack of vision too jealousy or competition or maybe you're sharing an idea with someone who has um, previously nursed such an idea they see it like maybe you want to go in, into a competition with them or your idea is better than theirs or jealousy kind of it's human you know everything is possible <laughs> finally i will emphasize on this one you need people you are not an island you need people as well as people will need you okay you need people in your life you need people to achieve your success you need people to achieve your dreams sometimes breaking a challenge in your life breaking a barrier on your way to your goal will depend hugely on who you know yes having a strong network of people is indeed crucial in various aspects of life both personally and professionally here are some of the reasons why a supportive and diverse network is valuable first you have opportunities you have knowledge sharing professional development collaboration emotional support learning opportunities resource sharing sharing of resources there are times you will not have what you need to take you to the next level and you will need somebody to either you need to borrow from somebody or know someone who know someone building and maintaining a strong network involves proactive effort such as attending events participating in online communities nurturing relationships it's not just about the quantity of connection but also the quality of the relationship and mutual support that exists within the network remember that networking is a two-way street it's not just about what you can gain but also about uh, on how you can contribute to support others yeah a strong network is built on trust authenticity and genuine to say thank you and i hope you learn a thing or two from this video and i would sincerely appreciate if you can give us uh, a like a subscription and that will encourage us to continue uh, researching and growing as well. One of the reasons why I am into this YouTube channel is to develop my own personal self as well. So I hope I get better with time. Thank you. <laughs>